What is up, amigos? Today we are busting myths. So we have a chicken here and we're seeing whether it can fly or not. So we have it in a CFT simulation and the wake is pretty cool. So this is one of those chickens that have like, you know, six pound legs and four pound breasts because everyone loves that. And first of all, we can see that the chicken does have a really nice von Kalman streak coming off of it. It's quite crisp, but everyone says chickens cannot fly. That is not actually true because the drag, the lift coefficient, sorry, of this is 0.38. So this chicken is producing a lift coefficient of 0.38, which is actually really good. That's like a typical airplane wing during cruise. It's actually a bit better than that, actually. It's um, probably about 30% better than that. So the other, this means that if you were just to throw a chicken really fast, it would fly very nicely. So chickens can fly. So this is a Y plane on the very edge of the chicken. And while we did see from the other wire plane that the angle of the wake was quite down, which indicates that there is a nice uh, lift coefficient, this also shows, this wire plane here, shows that the wake is quite big because now we're at the very edge of the chicken, but the plane is still quite wakey. So you can see this is quite a big wake here. So that also indicates that the wake of the chicken is bad, which means the drag coefficient of the chicken is bad. And that is true. The drag coefficient is 0 0.56. So even though it does have a good lift coefficient, 0.4 almost, it does have a lot of drag, which means it has to produce a lot of power with its wings just to maintain the amount of uh, velocity needed to stay in the air. That's potentially where this myth came from, that chickens cannot fly. But we've sort of busted that. All you need to do is strap this chicken to a turbojet, and you've got yourself an airplane. So these X planes, they show just how big the wake is. And it, even though it breaks down fairly quickly, like you can see that fifth plane at the back, that's about, what, three chickens downstream? three chicken lengths, it's already starting to break down quite a lot. It's near the chicken, the wake is still very big and it's almost like circular. So it's very unsteady as well. So that means that there is a lot of drag as we know and 0 0.55 for a drag coefficient is quite bad. So this Z plane is now sort of between the chicken's feet and the underbody of the chicken. So this shows a pretty cool wake where we not only have a bit of a periodicity to the wake left and right, but it also like sort of jumps up a little bit every now and then. And this is because of the three dimensionality of this wake. You have this chicken, which is a three dimensional object, and it has von Kalman streets forming from up and the bottom, from top side and bottom side, but also from the left and right. And this sort of merges together at some point in the wake. And that's what we see here with this unsteadiness. It's not uh, predictable, really. It's um, like it sort of follows a pattern and then it just jumps out of beat kind of thing and then it sort of goes back into beat um, a little bit every now and then and that's because of this three-dimensional aspect this z plane is now at sort of the midsection of the chicken and the mokama street from this axis is now significantly more dominant because we are away from the edges so we can see now that the the uh, product fluctuation of the wake is more uh, what we would expect is crisper and that's because the other uh, wake like the um fluctuation from the other axis is a bit more isolated at this point so now we have this Z plane, which is just at the chicken's head, like just at the top, which is still quite far away from the bird's back, but we still have quite a big wake behind it. Like you see the flow separates a lot from the back, from the back of the head. And over the back of the chicken, there is a lot of low pressure, which would also actually help facilitate, um, oh, sorry, that's a low velocity. So that means that's where a lot of drag is coming from, despite um, there being almost no geometry here. So that's why the chicken is so draggy. So that's in the simulation, make sure to like and subscribe. And let me know what part of the chicken you love the most. And if you want to get better at CFD and or theory, check out our courses in the description. And I'll see you next. See you next. Peace out, amigos.